Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Zafira Rajiha I, and I am a communication student mm -hmm. and currently in a second year, second semester in IIUM Bombak. Okay, so today my partner and I will be the host for this webinar. So uh, you guys already know a little bit about uh, me. Let's move to my partner to introduce herself. Hello guys, uh, I am Nafara Inshira uh, from the Communication Department in IIM Gombak Campus. Currently in my second year, second semester, same with uh, Sister uh, Zafira. So uh, today uh, we will have a discussion uh, about our topic regarding the care of disability inclusion. Uh, so uh, the title is uh, Autism, Be Aware, Be Understanding. Okay, so uh, for now, uh, let's welcome our speaker for today, which is Dr. Rosalind Abdul Rahman. So uh, I'm sure many people want to know uh, more about our speaker for today. So uh, Dr. Rosalind, can you introduce yourself? Hi, <clears throat> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, welcome to our talk today. All right, uh, it's about autism, be aware, be understanding. Uh, Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rosalyn. You all can call me Dr. Olin. Uh, thank you for organizer for inviting me this morning to share, right? Uh, a little bit experience uh, from me uh, about uh, my journey as a, a mother, okay, to an autism child, right, in my house. Uh, currently, I'm the head of academic and social entrepreneurship in Entrepreneurship Development Center, IIUM. I'm also a lecturer from Department Business of Administrations, IIUM. Okay, back to MC. Okay, so uh, I am pretty sure that Dr. Olin uh, is a great uh, mother and also great lecturer because uh, she can... Um, apa? Uh, she can manage uh, to, to be a great uh, in both. Okay, so now we all know uh, about our guests. So without further ado, let's begin our discussion today with the presentation of Umul Furqan al -Fatiha. Okay. Um, so as mentioned earlier, our topic for today is disability in inclusion titled uh, Autism, Be Aware, Be Understanding. So for the first question, uh, Dr. Rosalyn, when did you start uh, seeing the signs of autism in your child? Okay, thank you, uh, Zafira. Okay, uh, first and foremost, before I go in depth all right, into sharing the sessions about uh, my special son, right? Uh, I would like to give a little bit background, okay, uh, about uh, my special son. Uh, my first son, all right, uh, Adam Iman bin Muhammad Fidaus, okay, uh, has been delivered at 23 weeks, okay, with uh, a 700 grams weight. Okay, uh, 23 weeks too, you all divide lah. Uh, normal delivery, all right, is uh, 40 weeks. Okay, so but Adam Iman uh, was, has been delivered at age 23 weeks. Okay, uh, if in months, like 5.5 .5 months lah, uh, instead of nine months, uh, normal, normal delivery. So uh, uh, when he was delivered at really extremely premature, all right, uh, age, uh, he has been put in incubator uh, for about uh, almost 80 days, okay? And uh, I would like to share with you, all right, if I may share, okay, a photo. Uh, this is the day, uh, uh, the, the moments, okay, uh, one of the moments that uh, he's still in incubator. Uh, these pictures uh, can be taken uh, allowed by the... An ICU, uh, neonat intensive care unit, hospital Selayang, when uh, he already at stable mode, but still in incubator. This is not the early age, okay? 
uh, when he delivered, all right, the size okay of of his body is about uh, the size of the mineral water that you all always drink, the small mineral water. Uh, so that is his actual size, okay, which I'm not uh, sharing with you. But this is the picture, right? Uh, while he's still uh, in incubator, uh, that is me, okay. Uh, I do uh, feed him with my uh, with my own milk uh, since deliver uh, until his age uh, reach uh, two years old. Okay, so this is uh, uh, among the pictures that I taken for our uh, memories and uh, exclusively exclusively shared with you all guys who watch our. Uh, Siri, our sessions this morning. Okay, so uh, when he's being uh, delivered at very early age, okay, uh, the doctors and all the nurses uh, do not give any hopes at first stage. Okay, uh, because they all face with the situations in real most of their time. So none of the doctors and also nurses staff in in that hospitals give hopes to us okay uh, mentally also not prepared because it's too early all right uh, first 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 born uh, and then uh, at, at certain level the doctors in the hospital said uh, there's there's a possibility uh, for him uh, to die all right uh, because uh, he cannot breathe breath by himself at that moment. But we fight. Okay, we, we seek for the second opinion. We fight for his life, all right? Uh, because he doesn't have any other complication like uh, heart, uh, hole in the heart, or uh, all the uh, body parts uh, complete, complete, all right? The fingers complete, the toes complete. And then uh, uh, the lung also good, clear. So we fight for his life. We, we do not sign the form to take him away from us. Okay, uh, so that is the, the, the crucial part lah, uh, at, the, at, the, at the hospital. And then uh, the, the miracles happen. Uh, this, is, this is all uh, Allah's plan. Uh, he managed to stay in uh, hospital until uh, 100, uh, 112 days. After reach the, the weight 1.8, uh, doctor decided to release, to discharge him uh, from the hospital. But doctors keep remind us, uh, his parents, that uh, we must prepare for the worst case in future, uh, due to the extremely premature delivery, uh, for for in this case, for his case, uh, so all right, uh, fr from the moment he discharge, okay, uh, we regularly okay, keep visiting hospitals, uh, checking ears, checking eyes, uh, and then uh, when he reach. Two years old, right? There's no, no vocabs at all appear from from his from his speech. Uh, as a mother, right? Uh, this is an is instinct from a mom, right? To a kids, uh, I said uh, something wrong with him. Okay, uh, this, this is instinct. Uh, even though my spouse is quite uh, disagree okay with what i think right but i i take my own actions okay i bring him to see therapist speech therapist at age uh, 2.5 years old that time yeah 2.5 years old uh, and then uh, from that the speech therapist uh, is an expert. Uh, she conducted few tests uh, to Adam Iman, and uh, she 
come out with the diagnosis that uh, Adam Iman uh, is having very mild autism, she said. So uh, she advised me to, to, to bring my son to hospitals for further checking. Uh, because at, at her level, uh, she is the speech therapist. So she cannot further diagnose the, the hospitals. We need to go to hospitals and diagnose uh, details uh, about the uh, autism stings. But she said uh, at that age, all right, she based on her experience, uh, she detect that my son has a mild autism, okay, at age 2.5 to 3, 2.5 to 3, lah, if I'm not mistaken, during that time. Uh, but not, that, not more than three, 3 years old. So that is answering your, your, your questions just now. At, at what age I detect, all right, uh, my son has, has a mild autism there. Okay, uh, so uh, based on your story, uh, I think that uh, it's quite hard for you to face the situation at that time, right? So um, for the next question, Dr. Zailin, uh, may I know, how do you communicate with your child? Is it uh, easy to communicate with them? Okay, uh, in, in this case, okay, when, he has the, when he has very limited vocab appear, uh, from his mouth, all right. Uh, the basic things he can utter, pa, ma, okay. Uh, so what, what, whatever he needs, all right. He he just a point, or he will ask us, okay. Will bring us, will lead us to that place, and show what he wants, okay. And then uh, he has no focus, right. When, when we call him also, we need to call him many times, okay? Uh, only then uh, he turn and come to us. Uh, it's not like normal normal uh, children, when we call, okay, uh, Adam, okay, then Adam come, right? But this one, we, we, Adam, Adam Iman, Adam Iman bin Muhammad Fidawus, uh, until, until the full name, need, need to call until father's name. And then only that maybe he realized, okay, my mom is calling me. Uh, then he turned, then he came. Uh, most of the time, all right, uh, he, he is uh, in his own world. Uh, he is in his own, he, his own uh, world where this is uh, some characteristics of an autism children. Okay, uh, yeah, ignorance, okay. Uh, and then uh, when I go to uh, hospitals, okay, uh, when when we diagnose and he only have mild autism, uh, then uh, I also seek for advice from uh, two third parties. They advise me uh, if possible, you can send him to school uh, and mix with people. Maybe all right. The 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 skills and also. Uh, the level of tolerance can be increased. Uh, so I adapt that advice. At three years old, I start sending him to, to uh, play schools just nearby my house. Okay, uh, If I may share a photo, his first school, right? His first school, let me share with you all. Right today, uh, okay. This is his his first school. Uh, if you can see, okay, from the picture, right? This is at uh, three years old age. Yeah? Uh, he do not mix with the other children. He just play by himself. Right, uh, isolate himself. Not communicate with others. Uh, and the teacher at this first schools also doesn't have uh, knowledge about attending uh, students with disability. Uh, so this is this is our first experience sending him to uh, schools, not home, okay, but nearby home. Uh, 
uh, unfortunately there, all right, the skills not evolve too much. Uh, even the, the each time when we send uh, down deep inside heart, okay, we feel okay uh, as long as he do not harm any other students, uh, it's good enough. Okay, we are not expecting okay go to school then come back can talk no right as long as he's not do something harmful to another students that's uh, that is our uh, aim lah right uh, we afraid that because if he tantrum or he don't get whatever he wants he will uh, give harm to another 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 students ah uh, then it will lead towards another drama lah. Uh, the teachers, the parents, and so on. Uh, so, uh, at, at early early part, uh, that is quite challenging, lah. Okay. Uh, uh, what's next? You would like to ask Farah. Okay. Okay. So, from your answer earlier, I can see that it is uh, a bit difficult uh, to communicate with them. So, uh, and it is depends on her, us how we can treat them and we can also learn the skills to communicate with them. So, moving on to the next question. Uh, what are the difficult challenges you have faced when managing a child in autism? Uh, the difficult challenges, eh? Uh, uh, I would like to share with you. Uh, when Adam H reached two years old, uh, I, I deliver second baby, all right? This time, uh, not too early like Ada Iman because uh, we managed to uh, prevent uh, earlier, okay? Otherwise, she also delivered like Adam juga earlier so, but we uh, uh, seclash, we do seclash and also we fully bed rest. I stop all the activities uh, that years. Uh, I defer my study in PhD. Then, uh, uh, we safely delivered her at 36 weeks. Still, premature baby because normal term is 38 weeks. Okay, at 36 weeks, uh, week uh, weight uh, with weight 1.8 kilo that time. So, uh, raising up two children. Okay, first with my autism and then the newborn. Right, uh, while currently that time doing PhD. Uh, it's quite challenging, okay? Uh, because uh, I, I still have appointment for Adam Iman to, to see speech therapies, to see physiotherapies, and then every year, all right, the uh, he he will get sick. Uh, doctor doctor uh, has uh, health has mentioned us uh, for the first four years, okay? Uh, Adam Iman. Uh, will become a regular customer to hospital. Uh, that is the terminology. Huh? Because due to the extremely premature delivery, uh, his antibody is not as is not uh, strong like uh, normal normal children. Uh, so every year, okay, uh, if I can share with you the moment uh, when sometimes during Hari Raya, we all Hari Raya at hospitals. Uh, because uh, uh, Adam was admitted to the hospital that time. Uh, this is a uh, few photos, okay, uh, since uh, he discharged from the uh, hospital uh, after uh, the first year, okay, and then uh, during second, uh, two years old, being admitted to hospital, okay, uh, being nebulized uh, due to the pneumonia, okay, and then uh, this, this one, is during Hari Raya Haji uh, on his uh, three years old. During that time, he is three years old. Okay, uh, we keep visiting hospitals and check in, not just visiting, but check in. Uh, so uh, this part really uh, uh, made us sacrifice. Uh, our, our works need to be put aside. Uh, luckily, during that time, during that period, uh, I, I'm on study leave for my PhD. All right, uh, but I defer one semester, okay, to handle uh, these these two kids at, at the same time, uh, with with my first son with the mild autism, and then uh, when uh, his sister, all right, his little sister grown up at age two, uh, Adam is four years old at that time. Uh, this is the first time 
where I send uh, Adam Iman and also uh, my my daughter to one school uh, called Alim Kids. These schools provide play groups activity. Uh, this play group, all right, uh, is a, a one to two hours time uh, with parents. Okay, uh, where uh, we spend. We, the teachers spend time with the, the children. The parents uh, is somewhere there. So they are not afraid to meet with people because we, we are there. Uh, that is the purpose of having play group. Uh, the mom or the, the, the dad is there. So th this is first, uh, I said success schools that Adam start uh, meet, meet, make friends. Uh, make friends with with people uh, because uh, his sister is also uh, there. I, I think lah, I think so. His sister play a vital role in Adam Iman development in term of speech, uh, in term of characters, uh, mixing with people, start having friends. Okay, so I would like to thank. You. To, to my to my daughter also because in term of uh, adding vocabulary to Adam's speech, uh, his sister uh, trains him a lot because they have sparring partner to talk. Uh, so uh, in term of timing, that, that is the, the most challenging part because uh, here when I'm doing a study, I mean, I'm doing my PhD, uh, I'm staying in Johor, in, in my hometown, uh, because my husband based there in Pontian. The school is in Johor. So it took about uh, 45 minutes to reach from home to the schools. And the schools is uh, on weekends only. And then uh, I need to manage my study as well and still need to bring Adam to meet, to meet the uh, speech therapist, the physiotherapist, okay? Uh, to make sure that he is on track. Uh, so that, that is the challenging part uh, of uh, raising up two kids, one with my autism and one is small uh, during that year, for, for that year, uh, 2000, uh, 2010 to 2014, that year. Okay, um, uh, based on your story, I can see that you are very strong mother because yeah, you can manage to uh, raise uh, two child, one uh, with autism or uh, and another one is uh, just born. Okay, so uh, for the next question, uh, Dr. Zaili, uh, when uh, your child uh, throws a tantrum, uh, how did you manage to calm uh, him down? Okay, uh, me and my husband coming from different background. Okay, uh, those who are more always about autism is me, not my husband. Okay, so uh, that one is also challenging part, right? When, when we are not coming from the same background, right? Same knowledge. So to, to come into agreement is a challenging part. Uh, uh, what I learned, all right, the autism children cannot be scolded. Okay, the more we scold, the more he tantrum. Uh, that 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 what I learned. Okay, but my 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 spouse style is very conventional. Okay, so uh, when we raise up, all right, uh, Adam, all right, uh, he somehow uh, turned into tantrum when he did not get what he wants. Okay, uh, when when uh, 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 his sister uh, take his uh, toys, okay, take his things. So, okay, uh, my approach is by hugging him, okay, uh, to slow down, right, uh, to low, to, to raise down uh, his tantrum, okay, but my spouse is very firm. Uh, so, we do combine both ways, right, in calming Adam. So, uh, upon less learning, right, uh, I think Adam adapt, okay. Uh, uh, father, uh, his his father is very firm. Uh, garang lah, memang garang, memang cara, memang cara parent biasa. Uh, memang uh, marah, memang marah. Uh, 
Uh, so when, when his father scold, okay, I will uh, be the calmer. Uh, so uh, then he understand, okay, that things is wrong. Uh, but I think that he also learned from experience lah. Uh, we do not, and then when we know that our son uh, having that such problems, okay. So we somehow we do limits our move, our movement. Uh, to be honest lah, uh, not frequently go out eating at restaurants. Uh, not not uh, usually go to relatives' house uh, because uh, we do not know whether other people understand about this situation or not. Uh, because normal people will say. Uh, your son is naughty, all right? Uh, how do how do you take care of your son? So we avoid, all right, the situations. If we go, uh, he either do not come along, or uh, I go by my own, right? His father taking care of him. Uh, we plan lah, we plan. So uh, that is the approach that we apply, okay, during that time. For controlling uh, his tantrum. Okay, I see. So, um, based on your answer, we can see that uh, uh, it is not easy to calm uh, down them. So, uh, um, we can recap that uh, we cannot easily scold uh, them because they will more tantrum if we do that do so so parents out there should uh, take this as a lesson in order to low down their children when uh, there is a tantrum so uh, now i want to ask uh, have you ever looked down by others just because you have uh, a child with autism okay uh, i have one i i have experienced once okay uh, that time uh, i'm searching for assistance uh, not assistance, what is so called uh, mate lah, mate. Okay, uh, at that year, I'm I'm looking for a mate. Okay, in my hometown, then uh, uh, I do search in kampung lah, in in kampung area, uh, to find those who uh, SPM livers or who who wants to uh, stay with me in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so I I search for the potential mate. Then I come uh. I came across to one candidate. I, I personally go to to her house to seek uh, uh, permissions from her parents lah to bring uh, their daughter to become my maid in Kuala Lumpur. Then uh, she agree uh, because uh, uh, she love kids, right? I also tell her about my son's conditions. Uh, but when I go to her house for the for seeking permissions from her parents, all right? Uh, her father uh, straight said uh, in, 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 in Malay statement lah, uh, he, he said that uh, nak ambil anak dia jadi orang gaji, nak kena jaga anak cacat. Dia cakap macam tu. Uh, ni anak awak ni Down syndrome, lepas tu nak susahkan anak saya pula jaga anak awak. Uh, so, uh, at that time, um, I fight with my own feelings, with, with my uh, or own egos and then at the same time I do feel uh, anak saya bukan Down syndrome uh, kan so macam uh, that, that part is very uh, undescribable macam mana nak cakap marah nak marah tapi kena sabar <laughs> ha, kan? uh, was, tapi uh, I said to myself okay uh, Pak Cik ni tak faham uh, sebab dia duduk kampung kan uh, uh, Kampung people may be lack of aware because in in my hometown, uh, whatever disability, they all treat same. All go to PDK. Uh, so they they do uh, and then they said, uh, ah, ni anak anak apa ni profesor ni memang ramai aja yang sakit macam ni kata dia. Anak orang pandai pandai aja anak orang uh, biasa biasa tak ada pun sakit macam ni. So they have that kind of mentality. Memang if we uh, for last ten years eh. If we tend to look, those who fight with this autism uh, issues is uh, Prof. Hasna Toran. Uh, and then me, myself here, we have uh, parents with special uh, kids. All educated, educated peoples. Uh, so the, the uh, peoples in rural areas said, anak kita orang kampung-kampung tak ada pun sakit macam ni. Ni anak orang pandai-pandai je, sakit lebih pandai. So macam, they have that kind of stigma lah of that. So uh, we also... Uh, 
fight with our own uh, feelings. Uh, but uh, luckily, I have a, a support group, all right? Uh, and that support group or member, uh, those who have the premature kids together last time with Adam, okay, we have support group, uh, uh, WhatsApp group, lah, huh, something like that. Lah. Uh, then they also have the more or less same symptom with Adams, very mild autism. Uh, this is maybe due to the extremely uh, pre, uh, uh, premature delivery. Lah. Okay. It's not because of genetic and so on. So they all also face with the same situations. Then we support each other. Uh, that's, that, that's, that, that made me rise back. Okay, uh, But at that moment, too, bila dia cakap macam tu, sedihnya lah hati macam... Aduh, susah lah nak cakap perasaan tu at that time tu lah. And then, when go back to Kuala Lumpur, uh, in, in KL, uh, never experience that such uh, situations lah. To be honest lah, to be honest. Okay? Okay, so uh, it is hard, especially for kampung people uh, to keep that aware about this autism and uh, not have that negative stigma in their life. Unless uh, they... They they self they are self uh, have this uh, situation. Mm -hmm. So um, Dr. Zaidin, have has the doctor mentioned a cure for autism? Uh, uh, repeat back uh, the questions, uh, Zafira. Uh, uh, has the doctor mentioned a cure for uh, autism? Do you mean uh, doctor medical doctors in ah medical no. doctor mentioned uh, any cure for the autism? Yes. Okay. Uh, Doctor said that uh, Adam being diagnosed as mild autism, okay, um, I can take a risk okay, to channel him to mainstream if I think he is capable to be channeled to that line uh, because he is mild. The, when uh, upon maturity, all right, upon maturity from four years old to five years old to six years old, uh, he can talk, okay, like, like normal, like, like uh, normal children. Uh, the main problems that still have un even until now is the focus part. Uh, the focus part. When we say ten, let's say we give ten advice, I think just two absorb. Uh, from from that year until now, okay, I think the same situations still. All right, ada lagi benda tu pada dia, okay. Uh, so, uh, I also uh, take an approach from uh, controlling his foods, okay, not to give him too many uh, sugars, uh, to avoid him to be too hyperactive, okay, uh, that is among the, the things that I practice, uh, and then... Uh, I also slowly, uh, in, this is in terms of cure, eh? uh, I, I do not on any medications. Okay? Or I do not on any uh, hospital's medication, no. Uh, but I, I, the, the, the way I, I give, I try to support him is by controlling his diet. And then uh, I also apply the uh, Islamic ways where we learn together uh, remembering ayat Quran and then we drink uh, the, 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 the water that we have recited with uh, Yasin to, to build his inner side. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that is how I practice. Lah. But uh, hospital medications, uh, I do not apply that. Not because the doctors not give. Uh, the level... Okay, the level of autism that Adam has uh, is not up to the uh, stage that he need to on his medications. Uh, that that what doctor said to me. Uh. Uh, so uh, since today, how has uh, the practice uh, that you apply to your child uh, help your child's development? Uh, in terms of study, you, you said. Is it in terms of uh, study or uh, in terms of uh, his performance? 
Uh, in in learning, you you mean I, learning? Ah uh, yes yes. Ah uh, okay. Ah uh, ah uh, either I uh, treat him uh, like special students or normal students. Is it uh, about educations? My son's educations. You want to ask? Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, okay okay. Ah uh, this is the journey of Adam Iman eh. Ah uh, just now I share with you the first uh, kindergarten he cannot cope. Right, and then uh, I send him to the highest private kindergarten. During that time, right, uh, I admit lah, uh, I been influenced by advertisement. Okay, uh, so I enroll him to the uh, uh, almost most expensive private kindergarten. Unfortunately, all right, uh, but at the same time, okay, because he has sister. At the same time, I enroll his sister to another private kindergarten that is not too expensive, okay? But at the end results, all right, the sister can teach the brother to read, to recite Ikra. He learn from, from us, okay? Uh, I do mentor them, all right, in, in uh, both. Uh, but the sister's private uh, kindergarten is... Uh, uh, enforcing, enforcing children to read, to recite, and to calculate. Uh, that, that is the nature of the sister's kindergarten. The, while Adam, nature of kindergarten is just, uh, okay, follow what you want to do. You want to play, you play. You want to study, you study. You want to eat, you eat. So, suka lah dia. Uh, because, not stress, man. But, uh, when he reach eight, uh, when he reach age five, uh, his sister three years old. His sister can read, but he cannot. So I sit, uh, and then when he when his sister teach him to read, to read, actually he can. But with enforce, not not enforce say, uh, in hard enforcement. But when we every every day, right after maghrib, okay, I will uh, uh, take a look uh, his sister learning book. And then uh, the sister will repeat what she learned during the day in front of me. He is there. Then he also uh, indirectly learn during that session. So when I receive report card from his uh, teacher saying that this uh, his ability to read cannot, recite Quran cannot, most of them cannot, 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 cannot. I pay expensive, you know, every month. <laughs> right, the tuition fees very expensive compared to his sister. Then during the parents teacher meeting, I call him, all right, in front of me, and I take out the ikra in my handbag. I ask him to read. He recite in front of the teacher. Then the teacher uh feel uh shock, okay? How come he can read? Then I said, uh, you you pay back the tuition fees that I pay to you, then I tell you how he can read. Uh, start from that. I think, eh, uh, this is again mother's instinct. I think <coughs> Adam Iman has the capability to go further, but with enforcement. Uh, not just follow his fitrah. Uh, I think that is mother's instinct. How I, uh, but actually, I uh, this is not the right term terminology lah. Uh, underestimate that is not the right terminology tapi saya, saya, i use that i use that my underestimations for adam iman not because of his capability to think but due to the extremely premature uh, so that that incident still capturing me until his age 6 so uh, if if we do something uh, kesian adam adam lahir tak cukup bulan bila mm, teringat balik benda tu kan uh, adam selalu sakit adam ni adam ni so macam that that things uh, block me uh, actually, he can go further sebenarnya. Uh, so, uh, the moment he prove is, okay, uh, in at age six, okay, he is sitting for an exam. Okay, exam now, exam uh, to enter uh, one schools in Bangi, so called Sekolah Rendah Agama Integrasi. Okay, di Sekolah Rendah Agama Integrasi is a, is a state government schools. Uh, only have 11 in Selangor. Uh, students who want to enroll to these schools, this is private school, but the tuition fees are very minimal because uh, state government sponsor. 
So many people try to enroll to the school due to the uh, very cheap monthly uh, tuition fees compared than other, other private uh, schools. So I just fill up the forms, okay? And we go sit for the exams. I still remember, okay, that, that year on April 2014, Okay, when I go to the exam, uh, during the exam day, we have about 400 candidates, four to 500 candidates. The school only one, 180, 90 boys, 90 girls. Okay, the place for the school is only 180. Then I told Ada Iman, okay lah Ada Iman, uh, let's take this as a vacation for us. Okay, you just do whatever you want to do. There's no pressure. I'm not putting any expectation. Because too many candidates, of course, lah, the other mother must have uh, struggle, okay, to make sure that their kids can answer the exams, right, and then can uh, uh, enroll to the schools. Then I said to other Iman, okay, lah, we just have this as a, we treat this as vacation, lah. You just do whatever you want, All right? No pressure. I said, okay. Uh, so uh, after that, uh, two months after that, all right, the result, the results came out. Okay, the results came out. And then uh, I don't have any intention to check lah <laughs> because I said ah tak akan apa punya lah kan sebab ramai too many too many uh, candidates and then how come uh, he can be one of the candidates okay that is uh, accepted to the schools I said to myself lah uh, but his father said you try check. Uh, we also don't know he said kan tu i cakap alah malah lah saya kata memang takkan dapat je lah and then i receive call from my friends okay so my friend said eh kata dia adam dapat lah dia kata eh kau jangan main-main saya kata kan iya kata dia nama dia adam iman kan dia cakap member saya cakap ha ah kata saya ha ah, ya betul baik kau pergi tengok dia kata ha ah, so this is the result that i share with you uh, this has been put okay at the notice board at that school uh, I said just now, they want 90 boys, 90 girls, kan? Uh, Adam got number 62 out of 90. So, <laughs> saya pun macam, uh, saya, that is very unexpected one lah. Uh, because the question is very tough. Uh, the, the, the set of questions is very tough. They got B, uh, Malay, English, Math, Science, Arabs, and also Jawi. Okay, six, six questions. And then they have uh, interview sessions. The students, not involve the parents. Okay. Then I I call the schools. I said, is it true that my son has has got place in this school? I keep asking the the staff, and then the staff quite wait lah. Yeah, yeah, doctor. Anak doctor dapat dia cakap kan. Saya macam uh, I I uh, tak percaya. Batu saya tanya kenapa? Macam mana dia boleh dapat? Uh, that is my questions to the staff. How come? Uh, he can get the place. Then uh, the teacher answer. The teacher is uh, beside the staff that answering the phone. The teacher said, uh, "The writing part many people score, but the oral part many students cannot read." Uh, at at age six years old, I transfer Adam to his sister kindergarten. Okay, first three, first first month January during two thousand fifteen. Every day, come back from school crying. Because that private kindergarten is enforcing on reading, calculation, and writing, and reciting uh, uh, Al-Quran, uh, record. So every day, every day, come back home, first month, crying. Uh, sister dah advance one year lah, dekat that tadika. So sister dah pandai baca dah. Uh, uh, that choice uh, is tough. Nak bentikan ke tak, nak bentikan ke tak kan. Tapi... Uh, I just uh, made my heart feel stone and continue his education there. By March, completely he can read newspapers. So teacher said, the writing part, many, many students score, but when reading, many, many students fail. So Adam is one of the candidates that can read well, the teacher said. Uh, kat situ yang dia lepas, dapat masuk sekolah tu. Uh, so I, I channel him to, to this school, no PDK lines or special class, but I do tell the teachers, my son is mild autism. Uh, 
uh, during his uh, primary school years, every year got drama, all right, due to his autism. But the teachers are aware lah, okay, uh, about uh, his attitude. Uh, upon maturity, he evolved, and uh, in stand, uh, during at first he is in fourth class, and then uh, he go he climbed up to second class, uh, used to streaming, but uh, mixing with all uh, clever students somehow gives stress to him lah to an extent. Then I asked the teacher. Uh, bring him down lah to the normal class. I mean, not too advanced, not too low. Okay, because uh, first two class is very advanced. The teacher are very, very fast. Uh, to a certain extent, dia banyak miss lah that thing. So, dia berada di kelas tengah-tengah, dia okay. So, kita turunkan dia kelas. Walaupun dia layak untuk duduk kelas kedua, saya kata turunkan lah kelas, tak apa. Tak ada masalah tu. Janji dia nak sekolah. Uh, itu yang penting. Janji dia nak sekolah. Uh, so, up to today, Uh, I channel him to uh, normal high school, sekolah menengah kebangsaan dah. Dah form 2 dah. Uh, dah form 2 dah. So uh, it is glad to hear that uh, his education is not left behind. And I believe uh, parents also have to enforce or encourage them to read, to write and to explore many things in this world. So for the next question, um, What is your advice to other parents who have uh, children with autism? Mm. I may be not the best mothers to advise for those parents who have autism children. Because uh, my son's category is just mild. Okay, but even though mild, all right, uh, Uh, maybe this advice can be applicable to those who also have mild autism children like me uh, because the severe autisms might have different approach to handle and care towards them okay for those who, who has mild autism children okay the level of sabar tu memang must be at the peak lah all the times because uh, otherwise we tend to Uh, burst everything uh, because we uh, uh, for my case I'm, I'm still working I'm not I'm not leaving my professions so we have another responsibility there right uh, towards our uh, professions and then at the same time uh, we need to face our children with these problems of mild autism uh, and then we need to, to, to take care of uh, our family also so there's a lot of things to take care of So the level of sabar tu sometimes being tested, okay, uh, crucially, crucially. Um, if right, if possible, you need to have a very good support systems lah, okay. Uh, in in especially in your own family members, that is very important. I think your spouse, okay, the other siblings. Uh, so because I I did reveal to the other siblings, okay, your brother is not like you all, okay. Uh, that's why. Sometimes he can be tantrum, even even until now. Okay, sometimes he he don't listen. Uh, sometimes he talk some things that is beyond beyond our thinking. Uh, that that is also another challenges part. We talk about A, he talk about B, right? But the end is C lah. Uh, but we talk about A, he talk about B. Okay, uh, always not answering the questions. Uh, we we ask direct. The answer is. Uh, Uh, quite vague, okay. Then we need to bring him back. We ask you this, not this. Uh, but he answer beyond the questions. Actually, need to answer later, not the early part. Uh, so the support system from families are very important. When I'm working, all right, uh, uh, my spouse is there, or I even I uh, I have my uh, my uh, aunties that living with me together. Uh, since first day, okay, until now, so uh, he is, she is more patient than me lah. To be honest, uh, she is because maybe nenek kan, nenek dia punya dia sayang cucu tu lain daripada kita ni dengan anak kan. Uh, so kalau sometimes when uh, I I got I I got burst, I I I scold him, then uh, nenek will console him. Uh, so like like previous practice lah. When my spouse be too firm, uh, I do. Uh, 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 hug him. And then when the time I got burst, the the grandma will hug him. Uh, so he feels secure. 
uh, in that term he feels secure so the support system is very very important and then uh, uh, he might not he don't have uh, many close friends don't have many close friends can count his close friend can be counted but this close friend we tell them his situation uh, so the close friend his close friend understand his problem even his close friends parents also understand his situations uh, so this uh, his circle might be limited yeah his circle might be limited but uh, we we try to fully utilize his circle uh, for him to uplift his his life dia tak rasa down dia tak rasa koyak dan sebagainya even the small scale is okay It, sometimes he complain lah that uh, his sister got many friends here friends their friends because his sister normal lah not like her kan so kita tak ada masalah pun dia nak berkawan dengan siapa tapi his friends is very limited somehow we control because not all friends understand pun problem dia kan so our advice from beginning uh, to him it's okay for not to have many friends but you take care the few friends that you have because just these few friends understand your situation uh, and we keep uh, reminding him lah uh, he's not ordinary uh, but don't lead that not ordinary to be to do something harmful uh, that things kita keep keep reminding him keep reminding him uh, because sometimes bila dia dah besar ni dia cuba menggunakan isu tu uh, abang kan autis uh, so that is not the excuse uh, i just i treat him same like uh, the other siblings kalau salah kita punish kalau performs kita reward sama empat-empat saya ada empat anak even though uh, if if i can share i think i think this is again mother's instinct uh, my four children also a sons uh, having uh, uh, the characteristics of my autism also at this stage i think because uh, he is now currently a very very speech delay at three years old lagi tak pandai cakap apa uh, so this is mother's instinct again Uh, I have made an appointment at, at HUKM this July uh, to diagnose uh, our youngest son. So no weird lah because abang dah autis kan. Dia pada saya tak pelik lah kalau ada juga adik lagi yang autis juga. So the second and the third one is okay. But this fourth one, I think character dia sama macam Adam dulu masa kecil. Uh, jadi saya bersedia lah mentally, emotionally, physically saya prepare lah sekarang for the worst untuk yang Ford ni. So dia akan repeat balik lah. That situation akan repeat balik. But experience uh, do, do teach us lah to handle these situations. Dari segi uh, methods, I think my family ad, uh, adopt both method, mixed method. Uh, kalau dalam research tu kita ada mixed method. Mixed method in term of consoling and also uh, uh, push harder. Uh, walaupun uh, during the sessions, uh, attending seminar, workshop, they said uh, autism children cannot be scolded, cannot be, uh, you cannot talk, talk uh, too hard to them. Uh, but I apply both. It depends on the situations. Because somehow, when he has adopted our style, dia faham kita, kita marah. Uh, so dia tak buat benda tu. Uh, jangan ambil orang punya barang. So the, the intonation is like this. Jangan ambil barang orang. Faham? Uh, uh, ada setengah parents tu saya nampak dia tak pernah lah buat macam saya. Tapi saya saya garang lah kot. Macam <laughs> uh, tu lah. So parents, for me, sabar lah. Sabar, penting lah. And then keep keep keep, keep praying to Allah. Uh, grant us with sabar, patience, one things. And then Uh, protect protect him lah. Uh, sebab ada because when we send him to school is beyond our eyesight. Dia uh, macam-macam boleh berlaku. Uh, orang luar mungkin tak faham. They don't understand about the situations. So some may label, right? Some may uh, come into conclusion oh this is naughty boy. Okay, uh, kacau anak saya. Uh, luckily, alright, uh, I'm 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 creating a very good report to to lot of people especially in schools with other parents with teachers with headmasters uh, 
because if I also emotional, and then people will look double back. Okay, one is to my sons, then the other one is to me. But I do not do that. Okay, if my sons is guilty, uh, then I accept. All right. Uh, whatever other parents appointed to my sons, I accept because eh, lumrahnya, dia nak kita cakap anak kita bersalah je. Ha, macam tu. Okay, but uh, to him, to avoid him to be down, right, I will slow talk to him. Okay, memang mungkin abang tak salah. Uh, tapi dia orang tak faham. Abang kena faham, dia orang tak faham. Uh, that, that sentence to keep, keep doctrine him. Supaya bila orang lain cakap dia yang buat saya mak cik dia yang ambil barang saya dia yang jahat dia yang kacau kita diam diam dia yang kacau kita dia salah sebenarnya dia salah tapi kawan-kawan dia pun sebenarnya salah juga sebab tak faham tapi dia tak faham so saya memang never uh, put put blame to ada people kids even saya apologize in the group class whatsapp i seek for apologize for any of my sons mistake harms kalau ada uh, barang rosak ke duit hilang ke apa ni anak saya termakan ke bekal ke cakap dengan saya saya kata so i i made a very good report uh, so from that i think lah i think people put respects lah uh, then because i admit okay ambil anak saya salah tak apa saya saya ganti tak apa saya saya bayarkan saya buatkan saya saya bagi baru ah uh. so maybe the parents also in 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 fact of putting blaming to others uh, we accept the 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 not so called good things that our sons or our daughters do to other people but for our sons and uh, our daughters development kita console the letter uh, sebab takut dia down pun satu cerita juga mak aku pun salahkan aku orang pun salahkan aku nanti kan kesian pula juga dekat dia kan uh, so I, i do both things jaga repo dengan parents dengan guru guru-guru dengan guru sekolah dengan guru besar sebab They have cases that my son, uh, people are doing science experiment about uh, uh, trees, right? So the 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 teachers and the classmates do plant trees, and then tomorrow all three dies because my son pluck all the all the all the trees. Okay, so the experiment fails, totally fails. So marah lah, cek kumarah, cek kumaran. What is the reason? I, okay, I admit that my sons did wrong. But later when come back, I ask dia, kenapa cabut pokok? Tu kan cikgu suruh buat eksperimen. He said that that trees is not beautiful because no flowers. That's why I uh, cabut semua. Nanti tanam baru, biar pokok ada bunga. Memanglah tak ada bunga, tu pokok toge. Aduh, aku pun dah tak boleh nak beli. Tak boleh nak <laughs> Tapi dia punya mind thinking tu is unexpected. Dia cakap, we must plant tree that is beautiful. Flower lah. Tapi cikgu buat eksperimen tu tanam pokok toge. Mana ada bunga. So memang uh, nak marah dia pun tak boleh juga sebab dia punya thinking tu. Another level. Saya cakap tadi. Another level. Eh? Uh, so that is my advice to parents lah. Okay. So uh, from your story, I see that uh, it is very good advice to make uh, the parents aware that uh, they should be more patient and also grateful because uh, they have children with autism. Uh, as we all know, uh, not everyone is chosen to take care of a special uh, child, but uh, only the chosen one. Okay, so uh, based on your point of view, uh, how how would you educate uh, the people out there so as not to look down at children with autism? Okay, uh, uh, as a mother of autism sons, okay, as a autism children, maybe two two of sons having the autism. Eh, kita pun tak tahu lagi soalan ni macam cerita dia. So this is the platform that uh, whoever invited. Right, I feel free to share. My sharing session is free. Okay, uh, I've I, I've been used uh, to be invited as a guest of speaker talking about these issues uh, from several hospitals. Even though I'm not coming from education, uh, medical backgrounds, I'm not taking nursing, medical pharmacies or whatever, because uh, or even psychologists. But this is a real experience. I'm I'm teaching entrepreneurships. 
Okay, so sometimes uh, those people don't know how come this interpretation lecturer become the speaker for this such program autism be aware understanding. Okay, yeah, I'm not teaching, uh, I'm not coming from uh, medical background, psychology or whatever, but I have real experience in my family. Okay, uh, my real life experience. You also doctor pun somehow doesn't have autism children, but you learn lah that things. Okay lah, so let's combine lah. Uh, so this is the platform that uh, uh, I feel honored right, to share, to, to, to share uh, experience, to share whatever journey I had. Okay, uh, because there's, uh, there's no secret. Uh, I'm not feel shy to announce that I have mild autism children. Okay, uh, a lot of uh, friends know. Okay, uh, and at the same time, I do perform in my jobs because uh, we did make it balance. The upper maturity, uh, he has potentials to go further. Uh, so starting from now, uh, I can see, all right, uh, now he is currently form two, okay, form two, uh, 14, years, 14 years old. Uh, I already start thinking about how to survive in future. I can see the weaknesses is in uh, following people. So definitely cannot work with someone. Uh, cannot work in office, uh, because in office we need tolerance, we need uh, listen to the boss, whatever instructions. So his nature is not like that. So how? We, we are start thinking. So that's why I do embed entrepreneurship skills to all my kids. Because uh, these skills might help him or her, right? Uh, later, if not working with others, he can be the boss, he can be the workers. Uh, so that's why I, I slowly involve them uh, with uh, content creator, right? They, they are good at arts actually, right? Even Adam is not, uh, is not uh, for, for me as a non-artist uh, people, I see uh, Adam arts is uh, normal, yeah. but actually, okay, from the point of view of those who know in arts, they said Adam has future in uh, express, all right, the creativity in arts. Uh, okay lah, kalau orang yang pandai art cakap macam tu, okay lah. So I just give uh, encouragement lah because from my point of view, tak lawa je kau lukis ni kan. Tapi <laughs> orang art cakap, eh, inilah seni. Uh, oh, ya ke? Okay lah. <laughs> so, so, I'm, not, I'm not an art eyes kan. Kita bukan eye, art bloods. Hmm, tak rasa tak lawa lah. Tapi sebenarnya itulah seni. Okay, from that point of view, okay, I uplift. Okay, his art. Okay, I create accounts, social uh, social media accounts. I create business, I register company, all right, to uplift uh, his creativity. Uh, he loves to draw, he loves to make comics. Okay, proceed, I said. And then, now content creator. He has his own TikTok, he has his own YouTube channel. Uh, create content, express his creativity. Uh, so, uh, that is the, the things I can, I, uh, where I prepare for his future. Lah. Because I think if, I, if Allah grant me with Long life, Alhamdulillah lah. So I can see he until uh, 20 years old, 30 years old. But whatever happened, we don't know. Okay. So at least I have done my part, uh, advise him. Uh, we, we are not always together. Okay. Who knows one of us might die earlier. Then you need to have skills for you to survive. Uh, that is important. Uh, because currently uh, at his age, uh, he start have feelings okay uh, towards the opposite gender uh, so that is another things need to need to encounter uh, that is also a challenging part nanti kena buka sesi lain pula lah how to manage the emotions of autism children ah uh, tu pun satu cerita juga nak satu sesi yang lain kita buka nanti okay uh, so i'm using this kind of platform to spread the awareness uh, free no need to pay for my for my consultations or for my hours okay i do it voluntarily Okay, and if any mothers or parents uh, face with this kind of symptoms at early age, I will give advice. Okay, no matter who you are, kaya ke miskin ke, kampung ke, bandar ke, uh, through this awareness campaign lah, I manage to to spread the awareness to my kampung people right, about these autisms. Uh, so after 10 years, a uh, lot of my kampung people are aware about this, this, these uh, issues. Oh, dia lain sebenarnya, autism lain, ADHD lain, hyperactive lain, Down syndrome lain. 
Sebelum ni semua main sama je kata semua kan. Ha. Lepas tu mild autism pula lain, severe pula lain. Ha. Balik kampung, kita kita melalui platform yang kita ada, kita spread the awareness. Saya so, I fully utilize all the platforms, NGOs ke, politics ke, economics ke, education ke, to spread this awareness. That 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 is what I try to convey lah message to the community. Okay. So it is really good to encourage them in uh, whatever they like. So as you said earlier, uh, you 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 are involving your child in the entrepreneur. entrepreneur. So do you know uh, some examples of successful entrepreneurs amongst people who are uh, have who have autism? Okay. Uh, to be honest, uh, in line of autisms, uh, because I'm in line in, in entrepreneurship lines. Okay, we meet a lot of peoples, right? Uh, If mild autisms, they do not declare lah, okay, saya autism. Jarang lah jumpa usahawan cakap, okay, saya autism. Tak adalah kot. Tapi kalau in term of uh, disability, entrepreneurs, uh, I got few uh, few friends, in fact, alright, uh, have a special disabilities, which is successful in in uh, entrepreneurship line. Uh, our former students here in in IIUM, we have brother Salim Harmain, Harmain, alright, uh, also uh, uh, coming from uh, uh, physical disabled, that one, uh, now currently is doing business, and then I have my uh, very close friend, Professor, Professor Ruzia, uh, uh, she is very small, uh, kerdil, okay, uh, but uh, not autist, lah. I think not autist, uh, if autism's uh, In entrepreneurships, personally, I do not uh, know. Okay, even though I met a lot of entrepreneurs, kalau dia ada autism, dia tak declare kan. So, saya pun tak tanya. Ciri-ciri pun tak juga nampak. Obvious lah. Okay, when he becomes successful entrepreneur, kalau dia ada autism pun, even like my son, uh, orang tak perasan pun dekat content tu, dia autis. Uh, sebab dia, tak adalah cakap, okay, saya hi, saya autism, hi guys, saya autism. Dia tak adalah declare. Uh, so, still can create content. And can can do arts. Uh, so personally, kalau nak quote mana-mana nama, saya tak ada nama yang nak di quote lah untuk successful entrepreneurs tu. But those with physical disabilities, ada dua tiga orang yang memang close close to me. Uh, so uh, I I I met, bring my sons, met them, and I said this this auntie is disabled. I said, but he is very successful. She is very successful entrepreneur. I show the video that I interview uh, our former students, uh, disabled students. Uh, successful in entrepreneur i show my son uh, this is this brother uh, cannot walk properly but he is he is uh, a successful entrepreneur you physically perfect i said even you have a good look uh, only mild autism so you should be better yeah, than those who have very severe disability uh, so this this kind of things lah keep repeated keep repeated because the Uh, like I said, from 10 advice give only two absorb. Uh, from from begin until now. So kalau kita cakap panjang-panjang kat dia pun cucu-cucu kita be 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 pun dia ambil yang last je. Ha. Uh, <laughs> yang kadang-kadang bila tak sabar tu, okey baik cakap yang last je. Dia beri yang awal-awal tu. <laughs> okay Alright. Um, uh, may I know uh, what kind of support that uh, people with autism Uh, would need to make a living to uh, impre- entrepreneurship. I think if <coughs> my autist, um, personally, eh, this, this is my personal uh, opinions, my my point of view. We can treat them as usual, uh, because to a certain extent, their minds, their their minds pick up now. Uh, to be honest, anak saya yang lelaki ni matematik lagi power daripada anak perempuan saya. Walaupun anak perempuan saya tu pandai bercakap, awal bercakap, pandai buat karangan dan sebagainya. Tapi matematik dia tak sehebat abang dia. Uh, dia dia punya calculations ada sikit power lah daripada adik. Uh, walaupun adik tu normal. Uh, so, uh, I do not underestimate alright, those who with autism, especially mild autism, uh, to, 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 to go further, okay, to perform better. Uh, because uh, due to the underestimation lah that that I experience, uh, I think he cannot do, but actually he can do uh, with this with enforcement. So uh, like I said, if uh, if okay if if we want to support, all right, 
we do encourage the creativity that they have because to a certain extent their creativity is beyond our expectation uh, to be honest okay kita cerita pasal for example like we are uh, we are telling a story about uh, one one films but he can expand that story from from these films where the ideas next time the second films ada hit the ideas yang dia dia cakap kalau nanti kan akan datang dia akan macam ni macam ni macam ni macam dia cakap actually dia punya mind tu dia dah beyond dah kita punya normal people punya thinking uh, so bila normal human listen to the idea mengarut lah macam ah merepek lah tak akan macam ni lah ha, so normal people tend to think like that but actually alright their creativity is beyond our expectation so that one tu kita kena uh, we must uh, respect Right and uh, raikan the 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 differences too, uh, and then uh, his uh, idea somehow to a certain extent uh, uh, quite weird, uh, quite weird. Uh, people do building, people do draw building as normal, okay. But he tends to draw upside down. So we don't say that okay. Uh, You are wrong, uh, no. Uh, because listen to his just his or her justification. To a certain extent, their minds okay are blowing and think really out of box. Uh, like for example, uh, even in in having life, eh, uh, this is the this is the moments that I would like to share lah in this exclusively in these sessions lah. Uh, As an educator, alright. As an educator, I have my own pride. Okay, to be honest, uh, where people are looking up at me and my kids, and many people said, oh, "Okay, uh, lecturers' kids must be clever." Alright, uh, that's uh, 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 rarely lah. Lecturers' kid is not clever because mother clever, so anak must be clever. So when he enrolled to the schools, uh, standard one. Okay, just now I said, alright. Uh, he he is sitting at fourth class, class keempat, class keempat, and then first first exam. Uh, kan dulu ada exam uh, setahun tiga kali, awal, tengah, akhir. Kan first exam he got last place in class. They have thirty six students. He got number thirty six out of thirty six. I feel very bad. I scold him. I I scold until I cry. Ha, I scold until I cry. Marah sangat. Sebab rasa macam because I I fight with my own ego. Okay, anak lecturer mesti pandai tak? Anak lecturer mana boleh dapat nombor last. Okay. And then uh, after I scold him, uh, I bebe bebe dan sebagainya kan. Uh, after I relax a little bit, he come to me and he said, dia kata, uh, mama dia cakap kan. Ah uh, uh, this this statement, uh, sorry lah <laughs> saya kalau cerita saya kalau ingat balik saya sedih saya saya sebab okey ha uh, ni sedih sikitlah because this is my turning point myself okey dia datang kat saya sudah cakap dengan saya kan dia kata dia kata mama kalau lah uh, semua orang nak dapat nombor satu dia cakap siapa yang nak dapat nombor last that statement ah uh, saya cakap pun saya sedih dia saya pun mengalir kat mata juga okay. dia cakap macam tu saya when his Utter that statement eh, from his mouth. Dia cakap, Mama, kalau semua orang nak dapat nombor satu, siapa yang nak dapat nombor last? Dia cakap. So, I feel slap lah, to be honest, with his statement that, that time. Okay? Uh, where when I realize and make me think, uh, it makes sense. Okay, the statement makes sense. Betul juga. Semua mak bapak nak kan nak dapat nombor satu. Semua fikir kejar nombor. Nak nombor satu, nombor dua, nombor tiga. Actually, To be honest, that time, even though he got last place, 36 upon 36, his percentage is 82% overall overall performance. Eh, tu sebenarnya. But I'm not looking at the percentage, I'm not looking at the grade, but I look at the number. So that's why I turn mad. Okay, bila dapat nombor last, automatic rasa, anak aku dapat nombor last, macam bodohnya. Macam tu. That kind of things. Tapi when he come to me and he said kalau mama kalau semua orang nak dapat nombor satu, siapa yang nak dapat nombor last? So from that moment, that statement and his attitude really turn 
turn on my point, turn, my, my, my turning point of educating my, my children and uh, uh, muhasabah. I, I did muhasabah myself. Okay. Is it numbers that we chase or is it the performance that he shows that is supposed to be acknowledged rather than the numbers? Because I, I didn't realize when he entered that school, that 180 students that entered the school, the selected one, is all clever. Satu, tempat pertama tu ada satu je. Semua nak dapat nombor satu. But actually the performance is A, A grade. Even though sitting at fourth class. Uh, so that, that things realize me, okay. Apa yang aku nak sebenarnya? Aku ni nak menunjuk ke dengan orang. Nak mengatakan my, my son's clever, got number one. That leads to Ria. So this is wrong. Uh, I think this is wrong. So thank, thanks to him to make me realize. Okay. Uh, numbers is just numbers, but performance is much more important. So he show he show the his performance actually when he uh, during standard five they got UPKK. I don't know whether uh, you know or not. This is a, an exam, big exam taken by every students from for uh, standard five. Uh, in in uh, Malaysia, UPKK, Ujian Penilaian Kelas Kafat, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the, the, wrong, the long name. So, he got 6A. I'm not expected got 8As lah. Okay, he got 6, 6A, 2, 2Bs. Uh, so, tak adalah. Ada je yang dapat 4A, 5A. Tak otis pun, budak tu. Uh, so, from that moment, I said, okay, actually he can, uh, he can, he can do. Uh, so I give the flexibility to him uh, with the parenting uh, approach lah juga. If you perform, I reward. If you not perform, you just stay at home. So, yeah. so the for maturity, he can think, okay, kalau aku nakkan benda ni, aku, atau aku nak pergi sini, aku mesti perform. Usaha lah. Uh, so that one uh, goes back to reality lah. Uh, tak adalah treat dia macam autism student, uh, autism kids kan? Uh, that's, 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 that's all. Okay, so uh, that's it, the last question for today. Thank you, Dr. Rosalind, for the touchful answer. And I believe that different people have uh, different advantages uh, in in their life. So we we need to encourage them, respect, and appreciate what they have in uh, in their life. Okay, so uh, so we we have come to end of our webinar. Uh, wow, Farah, this is this webinar is an indeed an informative one. Absolutely, uh, we have learned a lot from this webinar. Uh, with that, uh, let's give a big applause to our great speaker for today. Okay, uh, from this webinar. Uh, it can be concluded that uh, every mother uh, wants uh, the best for uh, their children without uh, care uh, whether they have a disability or not. It is one of uh, their hope to see their children have a better life in the future. Uh, in addition, um, every human being is equal and has the same rights. Uh, so uh, they need to be treated uh, equally regardless of uh, the nature of their having a disability or not. Islam also teaches uh, us to treat human uh, beings fairly. We cannot uh, stereotype or prejudice to all of the people. Islam also uh, teaches us to uh, not uh, mock others because of their weaknesses. So uh, let's not mock autistic uh, people or those uh, who have relations with them. If we do so, uh, of course, uh, we, will, we will be looked uh, down uh, by the society and also get punishment uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the year after. So I think that's all. Uh, now uh, let's end our webinar with uh, Tasbih Kafara and Surat al Sister Farah, okay, if I may add one eh, uh, as a conclusion, uh, yes. as a conclusion from, from me, all right, uh, as a parent uh, who has uh, special children, uh, we also must play our roles lah, because we cannot expect everybody understand that our children uh, is disabled. 
Uh, so we must make sure that we are taking care of our children, especially when we bring our children out, or especially during now is Raya celebrations. Okay, we bring uh, our children to another friend's house or relative's house. So we know our kids. Uh, it is our responsibility, all right, to taking care of our kids, uh, avoid them to make harmful to other peoples. We cannot simply expect uh, other peoples understand. Okay, my son is uh, disabled, so other people must understand. Uh, fahamlah anak saya ni tak tak apa ni macam gini kan so tak payahlah berkira sangat no no okay uh, i hope that every parents know all right uh, their children's conditions so take care okay of your children's uh, because uh, if we can lesser all right uh, other people's uh, uh, burdens uh, we can give we we give easiness to other people's uh, allah will give easiness to us in our daily routines uh, that, that's that's all thank you thank you thank, thank you madam day. have a great day all right yeah, have a nice day. thank you for joining us assalamualaikum assalamualaikum